please. Thanks. Hi, Stephen. Hello. Uh, do you think you should have had a penalty there at the end yeah. with Danny Ings? I thought we had a decent show for one, yeah. There's certainly contact from, from Alison on Danny Ings, and if, if you follow it past that for a second or two, there's a, there's a two-hand shove um, on Ollie Watkins as well. We thought that certainly deserved the referee and VAR to take a more closer look. Um, it looked like they wanted to move on very quickly from it, from our point of view. But look, um, ultimately, ultimately we've, we've lost the game uh, to a penalty shout in the other box that we believe was a foul on Tyrone first as well. So feel harsh on, on both incidents, but penalty box to penalty box today, Liverpool were, were clearly a better team than us. Is that the frustration that you perhaps didn't show a bit more going going forward or, or a bit sooner, perhaps? Well, look, we tried to get the balance right and I thought we'd done an extremely good job to contain Liverpool for large periods of the game. I think... You can be too gung-ho against these type of teams too early and you can be hit for a scoreline that doesn't help um, anyone, especially at this time, so early into the job. So the plan was to try and take it to the latter stages and then throw more uh, more players at it from the side, the likes of Danny Ings and Buendia, and get more of our attacking players um, on the pitch. But we'll certainly analyse it moving forward and I'll certainly look at myself as to whether I should have done that earlier. Um but the penalty instance was a setback for us. And um, what we didn't want to do is uh, go too gung-ho too early and get it for a big scoreline. Thanks, David. Anyone else? Ashley, on you go, please. Hi, Stephen. Hello. Excellent today. Is he disappointed with that, that penalty shot? Did he feel hard done by there? Yeah, we do. We, we've analysed the incident after the game and there's, there's a foul on Tyrone before. I think the foul on Tyrone uh, makes him stumble in, in, into Salah. So, yeah, we do feel hard done by. But it is what it is. We have to accept it. We have to, have to move forward. We have to react and try and bounce back against Norwich. I thought defensively we were very sound for the majority of the game. Um, and to lose it to a penalty is, is going to be a bit harsh. But you could still see clearly that Liverpool are a level above at times. We need to keep the ball better for longer periods. And, um, you know, moving forward, hopefully I can throw more uh, ambitious players on uh, when we're playing this level of opposition and, and be a bit more bold and ambitious. That's the plan once we get to a level when we can do that. Yeah. Was Nakamba tactical to bring off or did he pick up a slight, slight niggle? Uh, a bit of both. He, he's obviously on a yellow card, so we felt like he couldn't be um, as aggressive as we would like him. You know, he's been superb for us so far, but he's been snapping into tackles and into the press. What we didn't want to do was go to ten men. Um, he was a bit. He was a little bit on a tight rope. He'd also made another foul after the yellow card, and um, we felt like we weren't playing enough football as well. So it was probably a combination of the two or three different things. To be honest, um, I thought Morgan was really good when he come on and um, I thought Dougie in terms of the football we played was around the best bits that we did put together Just one more away from the game he's not see Trezor go back on, on the bench just how, how hard has he worked to get, get himself here now ironic at the place where he did his knee but how has he been on, been on the scenes? Uh, listen he's happy he's, he's in a decent place obviously disappointed that the team haven't got a result like all of us but he got injured here eight months ago and we felt it was really important that he could come back to this stadium and um, really be involved with the team today. He's obviously worked extremely hard before we've come in the door. And um, in the last four weeks, we've seen a real professional player who wants to do more and go above and beyond to get back to the level he was at prior to the injury. So um, we'll keep trying to build his fitness up. He needs games, he needs training, and um, it'll take time before that level comes back. But we obviously wanted to reward him for all our hard work today. Guys, we'll go Richard... Carol and Dominic, please. And then after that, we'll take some questions for the Monday. So, Richard, if you're ready, on you go, please. Right. We'll go. Carol, if you don't mind, you can go while we're waiting in, Richard. Hi, Stevie. Hello. Hi. I know you said before the game you were coming here being professional and taking all the sentiment out of it, but, but how did you feel walking out there and we almost pleased to get it over with now? Uh, listen, when you take a job um, in the Premier League, you, you have to understand that you're going to have these days and um, I understand there's a lot of emotion around it for myself and my family. I had to accept that and try and deal with it in the best possible way I could. I tried to do that. Um, tried to focus on Aston Villa and make sure that was the priority 
uh, very respectful and um, thankful for the reception that I got. But I think that was normal and natural because I'd spent so many years here as a player, give many years of my life to this football club, um, not just the 17 years when I played from the, from the age of eight. So I think it was normal that there was going to be a motion for me uh, personally, but I tried to deal with it in the most professional way I could. Thank you. Dom, on you go, please, if you can. Yeah, Stephen. Um, you know, at half time when you um, the, the, you could hear the crowd growling and it was nil nil. Did you think? Did you think you were halfway there, or was it the, the challenge of them keeping coming at you, or did, asking you more questions? The you know, you're always having to think on your feet to to, to try and keep the frustration going. Listen, I think in terms of the game plan, Dom, it, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't the right thing to come here and pick a team that was too ambitious and too bold because you'd have to respect the quality and the level that Liverpool are playing at. Now, we knew that in terms of the game plan, especially coming here at Anfield, I know more than most that you have to get through the first half an hour. You'd have to get through when the crowd are at the best, when Liverpool energy levels are high, when they're pressing you really ferociously and they're also superb and dangerous in transition. We had to get to the half an hour mark. We'd done that extremely well by doing a decent containing job. Um, we had two really interesting moments in general play the other end, um, down the side of, of Matup. But in general play, we needed to be a bit more better in possession. But getting to half time nil nil was the first part of the job done, if you like. Then it was, can we get to around 60, 65 minutes? The penalty incident's obviously a big setback for us. But even still, we wanted Liverpool to become nervous, to, to take more risks and then take it into the latter stages where we could throw more ambition at it and uh, players that are a bit more creative and dangerous. Um, and that's what we tried to do. Thanks. Thanks, Dom. Guys, if we, we'll now move on to the, for the Monday paper. So 10.30 embargo for Sunday evening, please.